Hi, and thank you all so much for joining um, our Living with Kidney Disease and Transplantation webinar tonight and this rainy evening. Um, the mission of the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois is to improve the health and well-being of people at risk for or affected by kidney disease through prevention, education, and empowerment. Um, I also want to thank our generous sponsors for supporting this program um, throughout the whole series, and that's DaVita Kidney Care, Fresenius Kidney Care, Gift of Hope Organ and Tissue Donor Network, Northwestern University Medicine, and UI Health. Um, if you have any questions tonight or if you want to share any information, I know that there'll be a little bit of time at the end to share, um, please use the chat button at the bottom of your screen. Um, as you can see, the arrow is pointing to um, the chat bubble, so that's what it'll look like right at the bottom of your screen. And then um, we've had some really great sessions. Um, we have a series of mini sessions that are three to five minute recorded videos and all of the sessions through the ninth are actually already available on our Facebook page. Um, you'll also be receiving emails with links. And then we have some really exciting upcoming um, mini sessions um, through this week and early next week. We also have had some really great lecture and panel discussions. Um, the lecture and panels from last week, again, are on our Facebook and our YouTube. Um, but we have um, tonight a really great lecture, a really great session, as well as Thursday, Healthy Living with CKD. And then next week, we have some exciting panel discussions and a networking night. Um, just also remember that for each um, lecture and panel you attend live, you'll be given an additional raffle ticket for a raffle at the end of our series. Um, and please also, uh, every week you'll be, every Friday, you'll be getting a link to our survey, and this helps us plan future living with kidney disease and transplantation programs. So please just take about five minutes to complete our survey. We'd really appreciate it. And we're also looking for a new name for our program. So living with kidney disease and transplantation is a really big mouthful. Um, so if you have any thoughts for a new program name that really would be a great program name, please email me your suggestions to rdepod and kfi.org between November 1st and November 30th. We'll be announcing the new winner in early 2021. And if your name suggestion is chosen, you'll win a $100 Visa gift card. So um, at this time, I'm really excited to welcome Nicole Dumont and I'll turn it over to Nicole for some mindfulness and meditation. Hi everyone. Um, as Rachel was saying, my name is Nicole Dumont and I am currently a, a therapist at Lurie Children's Hospital. Um, I um, got involved with the National Kidney Foundation uh, in my, actually in my previous role as a hospital social worker, also working for Lurie Children's Hospital in the kidney disease and kidney transplant program. Um, and that's uh, where my love and understanding and support um, came and, and still continues to, to grow for, um, uh, for working with families that, um, that are managing kidney disease, whether it's children or adults. And so um, that's also why I'm here today. Um, something that I often enjoy doing with the families that I work with now and in the past is mindfulness and relaxation. And I find that we all really need some of this, even if it's just in brief moments in our daily lives, um, because we live in a really very stressful world. And additionally, when you're managing kidney disease, this brings a whole, um, a whole different um, amount of, of stressors, additional stressors, to your lives. And so um, today I'd like to just share with you a meditation that I enjoy doing. It's a meditation on self-love. Um, and we're actually going to start with a little bit of stretching because I really enjoy um, doing stretching and yoga as well. Don't worry, we won't get into any detailed yoga poses, but actually the stretching that we're going to be doing is just um, seated stretching. Um, a lot of us are probably spending a lot more time in front of the computer. Uh, and so this is something you can do in front of the computer. It's something that you can do um, on your couch, uh, anywhere. Feel free if it feels more comfortable to stand up during the stretching as well. 
Um, and uh, so after our stretching, we'll get into uh, self-love meditation. And after our self-love meditation, I have a few follow-up questions, um, mostly self-reflection questions. So questions that you all will be answering um, to yourselves. But then uh, depending on kind of our timing, I will ask uh, if people want to share in the chat uh, some of their responses. So to get us started with a little bit of stretching, um, I'm just gonna move my chair out so you can see me a little bit more. Um, let's see, I'm gonna move my camera too, just to see if you can get a little bit more. Okay, great. So um, we're gonna start with just some deep breaths in and out. So I'm gonna show you first what I'm doing. So um, on the, the deep breath in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise your hands up. So it's breathing in and you're gonna reach for the sky and kind of do this with your fingers. You can see my hands up here, but, and then on the exhale down, you're gonna slowly bring your hands down and exhale out like that. And I like to keep my hands kind of palms to the floor. It almost feels like I'm kind of pushing the floor or sometimes I imagine that I'm like, that I'm flying, that my wings are, are flapping. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do uh, about five of those together. So deep breath in. Hands up, hold that breath, and exhale out. Another deep breath in. Hold and stretch those hands up, wiggle those fingers, and exhale out. Another deep breath in. Stretching those hands, wiggling those fingers, and exhale out. Another deep breath in. And exhale. Last one together. Deep breath in. And exhale. Great job. And now um, we're going to do a little bit of back stretching. So I'm going to show you first and guide you through and then you can follow with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my body to the right. But what I'm doing is actually you can't really see because on my camera, let me see if I can back up. But I'm going to put my hand, my left hand on my right knee. And I'm gonna put my other hand kind of behind me to give me some leverage. You can also, if you have an arm to your chair, you can use it like that. And our intention is we're not trying to crack our back. We're not trying to strain. We're just trying to move our body to the side. Also, as we're doing these exercises, if anything brings you pain, just don't do it. Go to where your body feels comfortable. Um, and so the intention today is just to get a little bit of stress, a little bit of stress relief, and then also some body awareness. So go ahead and put that left hand on your right knee, and then your right hand either on your the arm of your chair or behind you. And now you're going to turn your body to look over your right shoulder, and just a real light stretch of your back. And I want you to, in that position, looking back, take two breaths. Inhale in, exhale out, inhale in, and exhale out. And slowly bring your, your body back to that center position. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So right hand on left knee, and left hand either on the arm of your chair, or behind you and you're gonna look over, just gaze over your left shoulder and we're gonna take two breaths here together. So go ahead and, and get in that pose and gently looking, gazing over your left shoulder. Deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. Now, gently moving back to that center position. Great job. Okay. 
Now we're going to try one more together and then we're going to get into our self-love meditation. So to get us ready for self-love, um, we're going to give ourselves a big hug. So you're going to see if you can wrap your arms around yourself. And this is a no judgment hug. So if you can't really wrap your arms, no problem. Just do what you can. And what I want you to try is as you, you're going to inhale in, you're going to squeeze. And as you're squeezing, you're going to exhale out. And go ahead and let your arms kind of fall back into your lap. We're going to try that one two more times. Get your arms ready for that bear hug you're going to give yourself. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to squeeze. Giving yourself that big bear hug. <clears throat> All right. One more time. Deep inhale. Squeeze and exhale. Great job, you guys. All right. Thanks for joining me in those stretches. Um, now we're going to start with our mindful meditation on self-love. So what I'd like you to do is, if it feels comfortable for you, go ahead and close your eyes. And if it's more comfortable for you to keep them open. I want you to find a place in the room where you're at and just gaze on that place. Cast a neutral gaze, allowing your eyes to feel relaxed. And take a minute and just kind of get comfortable. Whether you're laying down, sitting or standing, you can do this meditation any way you choose. If you are sitting or laying, I want you to just take a minute to feel the chair or the place where you're laying underneath your back. Feel yourself in your chair or laying down. And feel your feet against the floor. Go ahead and give your toes a little wiggle. And once you're settled in, let's just start to take notice of your breath. Without trying to change it, just notice how the breath feels coming in and out of your body. Notice if you feel tense or relaxed without trying to change that, just notice how your body is feeling in this moment. And now take a deep breath in and exhale out. <sighs> and as we're doing this exercise, if you notice your mind wandering, that's okay. Meditation can be difficult, but just allow the sound of my voice and allow your breath to bring you back to the meditation. As you're breathing, just become more aware of your body and your mind, becoming aware of where your body's holding tension, becoming more aware of your emotions, Where's your mind? Is your mind with you or is it somewhere else? Is it at ease or is it restless? Take a minute just to notice where your body and your mind and your thoughts are. And now I want you to, if you're able, place both hands over your heart 
and continuing to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Gently apply a light pressure to your heart area and ask yourself, how does it feel to place my hands over this tender spot, over this place where I experience love for myself and others? Notice your breath becoming more smooth and effortless as you begin to breathe in and out through your nose or your mouth Feel the flow of air moving into your lungs and then back out into the world. With each exhale, imagine that you're releasing any negative thoughts that are lingering in your mind. Any thoughts you want to get rid of for this moment. Notice them starting to dissipate. Bringing your focus back to your breath, I want you to, as you're inhaling, remember and also say to yourself, I am worthy. And on each exhale, I want you to say, I am enough. We're going to do that together. Inhaling, I am worthy. And exhaling, I am enough. Inhaling. I am worthy. And exhaling. I am enough. Let each inhale bring in self love and each exhale release what is no longer serving you. Take a few seconds to do a few more of these breaths on your own. And I want you to notice how you feel as you say these words. If your mind wanders at this point, know that it's okay. It's just the nature of our minds to wander. Just bring your attention back to your breath, back to following the sound of my voice. Notice how your thoughts may come and go, whether positive or negative simply allowing them to pass on like clouds floating in the sky. Now, take a moment and visualize yourself standing in front of a mirror. Look into your eyes What do you see? Do you see pain or sadness? Do you see love and joy? Do you see neutral? Regardless of what appears to you in this reflection, look at yourself now in that reflection you're imagining in your mind and tell yourself, I love you. You are worthy of happiness. You are a good person. Know that what you see in the mirror in this moment may be different from when you look the next time, but know that that inner Love and that inner worthiness is there. 
Imagine now that you could breathe into your heart and visualize love pouring out onto your hands from your heart. Imagine that love as a warm light that starts to permeate from your heart, that starts to take over, filling the rest of your body with this warm light of love coming from inside you. Feel a sense of comfort and calm traveling up through your chest, into your neck and head, out into your shoulders, your arms and hands. Then down into your ribs, your belly, your pelvis, your legs and feet. Your whole body is filled with a love that can come from within. Allow a sensation of warmth to fill you from head to toe. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Know that love is always available when you need it. It's inside you. And sometimes when we don't feel that love coming from outside of us, we can look inside of us and we have that light and that ability to love ourselves. Now we're going to take a few more deep breaths together. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale, exhale. And I want you all to take a moment and just acknowledge the unique experience that you had during this meditation. Recognize if there are any changes in your body, in your mind, and what you're thinking about yourself. Don't judge those thoughts. It's okay. Whatever thoughts you're having, those are your thoughts. Come back to this practice, this meditation, when you need to create a loving space for yourself. This can be an opportunity to really tune in to yourself and your emotional needs. Maybe you discovered something about yourself that you hadn't really thought of today. Self-love can allow you to build a stronger relationship with yourself and also allow you to be more present with others and enhance your relationship with others in your life. As you're holding those things, as we're here together in this meditation, if your eyes were closed, I want you to slowly start to open them. Just become aware of the space that you're in. Bring your awareness back to your body and your mind. And I have a few self-reflection questions that I'm going to present to you all. And if you have a way to write these down, I'd love for you to write down your responses. And I would also love if once we share or once we, um, once I'm done with the questions, 
maybe if some people feel comfortable, they can share in the chat any of their responses. So the series of questions I have is about love and appreciation. And so my first question I want you to reflect on, and, and if you don't have paper, that's okay. Just hold the response in your mind. I want you to think of what is one thing that you love about your mind? What's something that you, that you love about your, your mind, your brain, your, the intellectual part of yourself, if you will? If you're still thinking, no problem. Take your time. And if you come up with more than one, please write as many as come to you. Just write them out or really hold them in your brain. Now I want everyone to think of what's one thing you love about your physical appearance. could be something as simple as maybe you love your ears or your nose <laughs> or maybe you don't what's something about you physically that you really love and appreciate and now i want you all to think what's one thing that you or more things, something that you love about your personality, that you appreciate, a characteristic about your personality. That could be how you interact with others. What's something that you really love or appreciate about yourself? Take a moment to hold that in your mind. Take a moment to write that down. And the last two things I want you to think about are what are two things that people tell you they love or appreciate about you? Think about others in your life, whether it's now or whether it's in an earlier time of your life, either one is fine and think about what people say about you. What do they like about you? Could be anything from maybe you cook or bake something really well. Maybe you're a caring person. Write those two things down or hold those two things in your mind. Now take a minute and look at that list or just to kind of review, if you didn't write it down, review that list in your mind. And just notice how it makes you feel. And I would love to hear from you all just in the chat um, to see if people would like to share what they wrote down or what they came up with. So if it was something that you appreciate about your mind, about your brain, about your intellect, I would love to, to hear that or see that rather in the chat. If it was something about your physical appearance.
if it was anything about your personality, about how you interact with others. What do you love and appreciate about yourself? And I'll, I'll give you guys a minute or two to respond. I see that we've got a response here. Thank you so much. I'm going to read these because I just, I love um, hearing them and saying them out loud. My mind and its ability to reason and see balance in situations of conflict. Oh, that's so great. Being able to balance out those tough situations is really, truly a valuable thing to have. And I hear you appreciating and loving that part about you. Also, I see my mind appreciate that it's always willing to learn. Yes, it's great. Always willing and craving knowledge, always wanting to learn something new. That's awesome. Thank you all so much for, for sharing. I'll give folks another minute or two just to kind of sit together here. And if anybody wants to um, share in the chat, feel free to. Or if anybody would like to share anything else in the chat. I see another share my wit and sarcasm. I think that's so great. Really appreciating your sense of humor. Loving that part about yourself. Loving ourselves is so important. And I'm sure people have heard this before. But if we can't love ourselves, how can we really love other people? And to be honest, I believe that to some extent. I think we can really fully love others when we do love ourselves. I want to thank you all for joining me today for a little mindfulness moment, some stretching, um, as well as some self reflection. This is really hard work. And I'm so glad you were willing to participate with me today. Um, I will hand it back to Rachel. And I do hope to see you guys again in the future sometime. And I just want to thank everybody for joining us today. Um, I hope that you're able to continue to join us um, for our other sessions throughout this week and next week. And thank you all again tonight. Stay safe and stay healthy. Have a good night, everyone.